Hello, welcome to my channel. This time we are talking cooking. It's not craft, but I also think cooking is an art. So someone requested for this video. I decided to make it so that we can all share it. So today we are talking about making and call it porridge, devil shader. So wh what we need is one kilogram of millet flour. And then we make a paste with boiled water, the cold one, not the hot one. So we are just making a paste for the porridge. Now after you've made the paste of the porridge, then you can start adding what's necessary. For me, I always make a thick paste because I also want porridge that is not very watery. I want the bushera which is not very watery, like real, real water. I want at least when I can feel something in it. So I make a thick paste. So when the paste is ready, now we start preparing the water. My water is already prepared, it's boiled. It's already boiling. So I add one liter, two and a half liters of hot water. And then I stir. You need to stir fast because this porridge has a tendency of thickening. Then we add another liter, one liter of water. Cook for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Then let rest for 15 minutes. minutes are done now we are making the fermented sorghum the one we are going to pour in to make it lighter so now we are getting 750 grams of fermented sorghum we are making a paste again with boiled water no you can't use unboiled because you're not going to boil it again or cook it again so you have to use boiled water some people add little leftover bushida for fast fermentation they add it in chimera now remember this fermented sorghum, the chimera, is sweet, naturally sweet. So you don't need to add any sugar when it's ready. It's just a natural sweetener. You just take it and you feel like there's sugar in the bushera. And when you're adding the leftover bushera into the sorghum, make sure you put like half cup, don't put a lot. Now after stirring, you cover with an airtight lid. So this the lid to this pan has a hole, so I had to put some tape so that no heat passes by. And even you can choose to put dough. So you cover, make it airtight. You can even put something heavy on top of the lid and keep overnight. Now here the next morning when you wake up you check you see the water on top of the porridge if it is a little brown or if it's brown that means that the, the porridge is ready if it is white then that means there's a mistake you made either you put the the program earlier and now it didn't ferment so then after you pour lukewarm water you pour the amount of water you want as for me i only put one liter so that we can be able to Get the consistency that we want but you can put two or the amount you want and then cover again for one hour now it's time for you to serve you put you can put in the refrigerator if you want or you can just take it like that me i take it any way it is whether it is not refrigerated or immediately after making it i take so you can take the way you want you can take with a snack or just take it without any snack this is very good for the digestive system 
for the children it is very good even for the adults the ladies you know it is very good for us so you can take any time the amount that you want it is just natural it's not harmful but don't overdo it because it, you may feel so full thanks for watching subscribe please you can even share with your friends love you